Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 12 minutes after 6, and if you enjoyed the weather this past weekend, you're going to love what we have for today and for tomorrow, being that it's just going to be a continuation of that. Maybe slightly warmer, and we'll get a little bit of a breeze out of the south, but overall, that same high-pressure system that influenced our weather this past weekend will be the case for today and tomorrow as well. Otherwise, for Thursday, this is where we have our next chance at some showers, possibly a few storms moving through. And that's going to cool us off pretty significantly going into the weekend as our temperatures struggle to escape the 50s in a few locations. But a lot of us likely at least getting into the low 60s by Saturday. Gorgeous look on our Nicolay Bank sky cam over Hastings Way this morning. We have plenty of color to the skies. We've had just a few thin clouds have been hanging around through the overnight. Otherwise, it's been mainly clear. And that's going to be the case throughout the day as we'll have an abundance of sunshine. And we get into the mid-60s by the mid-morning hours after we're starting off very similar to where we were yesterday, maybe a degree or two warmer in a few locations as a lot of us are in the lower 50s, 52 right now in Eau Claire, 40 on the dot in Black River Falls and in Toma. But as we know, our lower elevations typically on the cooler side, especially when we have these calm winds, much like we have for most of the area this morning. But later this morning into the afternoon, winds will start to pick up a little bit more out of the south, and that's what's going to lead to a little bit of a warm up for tomorrow uh, before we do cool things off on Thursday. There's a look at our upper level flow. It's no surprise that we find high pressure right along the jet stream downstream of that ridge that we have off to our west that's bringing some milder weather towards the upper plains and off towards the east. That trough is going to keep things on the cooler side towards the northeastern United States and southeastern Canada. But we've stayed mainly clear as a result of that high pressure in the area. And that's, again, going to be the case for today when it starts to pick up a little bit out of the south. We stay mainly clear through tonight and tomorrow pretty much going to be a repeat offender of today maybe just a couple degrees warmer. But by tomorrow night into Thursday, this is where we start to see a few clouds roll in and eventually result in our next chance at a few showers and some storms late in the morning, early afternoon on Thursday. But once that pushes through, as a result of our next front, our winds start to pick up out of the north, and that's what's going to lead to that cool down that heads our way going into the weekend. For today, topping out in the upper 70s, our average high in Eau Claire, 77 degrees, forecast to get one degree beyond that. Tonight falling to the mid 50s, so pretty similar to where we're starting off with this morning. Again, mainly clear and a light wind out of the south. For tomorrow, slightly warmer in the Cooley region, bottoming out in the uh, excuse me, bottoming out in the 50s over the next couple of days. But then we do cool things off pretty significantly for Friday and Saturday. Overnight lows in the low 40s, daytime highs in the 60s, but we rebound a little closer to average towards the start of next week. Still with plenty of sunshine and highs in the low 70s. Now for a Sunshine Award, Brooke Close would like to nominate Grace Edgewood and says the staff at Grace Edgewood in Altoona have the most caring and compassionate staff members. They always have smiles even during difficult situations. Anytime help is needed, they are ready. We at Lilly Hospice appreciate all they do and they deserve to be recognized. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.